You wanna know what really pisses me off? I've been using this program for over 10 years and I just recently discovered this. So we have this scene right here and if we orbit around, you can see what it looks like, right? Everything is pushed back and forth in set space. Now you can see I have a keyframe for point of interest and position. I'm gonna go into four seconds and then I'm gonna zoom into this dog right here, right? And as you can see, he becomes very blurry. Why is this happening? Well, of course, obviously the reason is that I have depth of field on but something's happening with the distance. See, if we switch from active camera to custom view, you can see that the distance for the depth of field is this square right here. But as we move forward, you can see that the distance also moves forward. We don't want that. We want it to stay focused on this dog right here. So imagine my disbelief when I found out that you don't have to do it manually with keyframes. All you have to do is this. Choose the dog you want to focus on and then command click on the camera. Go to layer, camera, and link focus distance to layer. As you can see, it creates an expression for the focus distance. And that's what helps it stick to that layer. It just pulls out a bunch of code right here. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm smart enough to know what the hell is going on here. All I know is that it works and that's good enough for me. And now no matter how much you move the camera, the focus is always gonna stay on the dog. And you can see I can go super far back just for the hell of it. And again, still the focus is on the dog while everything else gets blurred out. Hold on though. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself a bit. <laughs> I've been kind of missing for a while, haven't I? How long has it been? Two, three months? Holy sh**. Wow, I have been gone for a while. And even so, the channel has been growing. I mean, I've only uploaded like four or five videos and we're all the way up to 1700 subscribers. That's pretty insane considering there's people that upload hundreds and hundreds of videos and they never get to see this amount of subscribers. So I'm really appreciative for every single one of you, not just for subscribing, but for taking the time to comment below my videos. Seriously, thank you. Anyways, let me show you another camera trick. So basically we just set it so that the distance of the depth of field always follows this layer right here. But what if we don't want that? What if as it zooms in, instead I wanted to focus on this one over here. Let's go back to the camera focus distance and just get rid of this expression. Hold option and then click on the stopwatch. However, we wanna create a keyframe for the focus distance. So let's set that up and then let's press U to open up all of the keyframes that we have so far. And let's move forward to these keyframes right here, right? Now, as you can see, the dog is already kind of in focus anyways. That's because when we move the camera forward, the depth of field distance went forward as well. But let's say this dog is just way farther apart in the distance, right? Let's say you want to immediately focus on that dog. Go ahead and click on the dog, control or command click on the camera, layer, camera, set focus distance to layer. And the difference is that instead of making an expression that glues the depth of field to the layer, this one just sets it for that specific keyframe. And it looks like this. See how everything is out of focus except for this? That's the effect that played. So now it moves from here, this one's in focus, but as it plays along, you can see it gets blurry and then this one gets in focus. And you know what? Since that dog is already in focus, why don't we just change the camera so that it automatically switches to that dog? Let's move up to, let's say eight seconds. We're gonna click on the layer of the dog, then we're gonna go to view and look at selected layer. And see, it created a keyframe over here and it's now the main central piece. As you can see though, it's blurry again. And this is because once again, if we look at the 3D view, this is the depth of field distance. And as we move forward, it's also gonna move forward. So you just gotta do what I just showed you, right? Click on this layer, command click on the camera, layer, camera, set focus distance to layer. And let's say we go back four seconds. This one's out of focus, so let's put this one in focus. Again, following the same thing I just showed you, boom. We're now gonna select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. And now when we play it, you can see that the distance layer goes from one dog and then it goes to the one on the far back and it stays focused because we set the keyframe by clicking set focus distance to layer. The best part is that there's a keyboard shortcut in case you wanna move the camera to whichever layer you want, right? So let's say we just wanna move to the dog four and I can't really see it, but let's say we move 12 seconds in and I just press the shortcut and look at that. Now it's focused on that one and it created the keyframes down here. So it moves from the first one to the one on the far left and then to the one on the front right. And again, we want it to be in focus. So so we apply the same technique I just showed you. All right, cool. One more trick and then I'm gone because it's getting kind of late. It's almost past my bedtime, man. Just come to bed, darling. But, but I can't. How are they supposed to learn the last trick? I have to teach them. Forget about them and just come, come to bed. No. <gasps> Die, you wench. That's what you get, you stupid bit. Oh, wait a minute. Where am I supposed to sleep now?
Can I crash at your place? Oh, that's okay. All right, let's go 16 seconds in. Now, let's say for some reason we just zoom all the way back here. I'm going to bring in a quick button that I made and I'm going to reveal it. And then I'm going to make it 3D. So if we go to this other view on the side, right, you can see the button gets pushed to the starting point. But the camera is all the way over here. And that also includes the distance for the depth of field. So what if we want to bring the button all the way to the front without having to manually do it? So what you're going to do is you're going to select the button layer and you're going to press Command Home. And look at that, it got brought all the way to the front automatically. So I'm gonna push this up a little bit so you can see this real quick. But when we go back on the composition to the previous keyframe, you can see that it gets blurry and it's in set space, right? So now if we look at the custom view, now the button is all the way in front of the camera and in front of the depth of layer distance. Pretty neat, right? Okay, I got an exercise that I want you to do. I'm gonna give you this project file for you to practice, and I want you to implement all of the four techniques that I just showed you. But here's what it's gonna look like, just like this. There's not gonna be any keyframes whatsoever. Your job is to implement every single technique that I just showed you. That way you can really ingrain them into your knowledge. Because if you just watch this tutorial and you don't take action, you're not actually gonna learn what you just saw. And so the best way for you to learn is by doing exactly what I just showed. So give it a shot. I'm gonna leave it down in the description for you. And if you wanna share with me what you just made, you can go to our Discord and upload it there. Thanks, have a good one.